Hi, this is Mr. West, and you are watching a Math Drills tutorial, this time on all operations with integers. If you need a link to this website or this worksheet, go to mathdrills.com, or I have a link in the description below if you want to check that out. Now, this is essentially a review of all the operations you can do with integers. So I'm going to do a brief review of those operations. So if you want to skip this, go ahead. But I just want to let everyone know that we're going to review multiplication first. Okay, so we have positive times positive. What does that equal? It's going to equal a positive. Okay, so this is just a quick review. If you have a negative times a positive, it's going to be a negative. And this works also if you have a positive times a negative. It doesn't matter to the order. And then if you have a negative times negative, that also is a positive. Okay, so that's just something to keep in mind as you're doing this. You're going to want to identify the signs of the numbers okay, as you're doing them. And then that's going to be very important for the multiplication if it's going to be positive or negative. Similar but a little bit more difficult with addition and subtraction. That's what I found at least that students struggle with this a little bit more. So I kind of, this is my own diagram right here, uh, how to understand it. So this means it's a bigger negative number than this. So if the negative is bigger, okay, bigger number, bigger value than the positive, and they're added together, okay? So you need to determine if they're being added together combined is probably what I'd like to say. And if it's a negative is bigger, it's gonna be negative, okay? The negative's gonna win. That's how I like to think of it. It's like two different teams. Whatever team is bigger, the positive or negative, that team will win, okay? So for the next one, we have a small negative and a big positive, so the positive's gonna win. Obviously, I had to write this down, but if we have two positives added together, it's just it's gonna say positive. You guys know how to do that addition already. However, the last one, if we have two negatives added together, they're on the same team, it's gonna stay negative, okay? So don't think, oh, it's a negative plus a negative, it's gonna be positive. I see that mistake all the time. They get these two things, these two ideas confused, so don't do that, okay? Um, the last thing I wanna say is, if you two, see two signs next to each other for addition and subtraction, so, uh, for example, minus a negative, you're going to want to turn that into a positive. So minus a negative, you're going to want to say that's a positive. Or plus a negative, that's just minus. Okay, so I'll talk about that as I go through some of these examples. Now that we're done with the review, let's get into it. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and start in the proper order. Number one. So number one, we have addition. We have addition of two negative numbers, okay? So this one is negative, this one is also negative. So like I said before, it's going to stay negative. Now how do we account for that? Well, now we have negative five, negative four, they get stronger, they get uh, bigger in value because they're on the same team, the negative team, so it's become negative nine. And that's how you do that. Okay, let's do a couple, let's stay with addition and subtraction for now. So uh, with more addition, uh, we have a negative number here, okay, so this is negative, but then we have a positive, and we don't really need two plus signs together, so really this could be rewritten as negative three, just plus one. Either way, which value is bigger? The negative is bigger, so it's going to win. Now, here's the thing, it's gonna stay negative, okay, it's, be it's gonna become negative, but it gets reduced in value because they're fighting each other. The positive one doesn't like the negative three, it's gonna to go to negative two. Okay, so negative two is the answer there. Let's do a couple more. So if we have two negative signs here, so we have negative four, okay, and then minus a negative. We don't like that, we're gonna rewrite it as negative four plus, okay? We don't want two signs written next to each other plus one. Again, they're on different teams. They're gonna fight each other, but the bigger value is gonna win. The negative wins by three. That's how much it wins by. I'm trying to see if there's any other ones. Here's another one. This time it looks like the positive team is the bigger one. We have plus a negative here. We don't like two signs, so we could essentially just go minus five. So six minus five. We don't need that plus sign really, but I like it because it gives you an idea of how to rationalize this in your brain. So we have six minus five. That's a simple subtraction, but either way, the positive is going to win, and it's going to win by one. Okay, six minus five is just one. We know that. And that's how all these are going to go. So anytime you see two signs, I would go ahead and just change that right away. Negative seven plus three. Negative is going to win by four. 
Here we have negative and negative. We could rewrite this if we wanted to like this, but it's the same thing. They're both on the negative team. I know this says subtract, but I like to consider it a minus 5. So we have a minus 5 and a minus 4 combined minus 9. Okay, so that's addition and subtraction. Leave a comment if you need more of those done. Now we're going to move on to multiplication and division, which I forgot to include division, but these are also included. The same principles of multiplication apply to division. Let's go ahead and get to those. Number two, I think, is multiplication. We have a negative times a negative. That's going to be a positive. And then 4 times 7 is 28. Do we need to write the plus sign in front of a positive number? We do not. We just put 28 and we're done. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and, ah, here's a division one. There's another negative divided by negative. Same thing, positive. 18 divided by 6 is just 3. We don't need the positive. We just write it as 3. Okay. We have positive 8 times positive 3. That's 24. Try to find one where the signs are different. Positive 14 because we have two negatives multiplied together. Here's one. A positive times a negative is going to be a negative. You need the sign for negatives. 3. Okay, and then that's all there is to it. Uh, trying to find a couple more, and then maybe I'll just do a couple mixed ones. We have a negative times a positive right here. A no Again, this probably will be written like this. Where you in whatever other worksheets that you find, it's going to be written like that. But either way, it's negative 9. Uh, negative times positive is going to stay negative. And then negative 25 here. Okay, so that's it. That's all there is for this worksheet. Uh, essentially, what you're doing is you're just applying these rules. Positive 1, and make sure you change this to plus. This is actually 10. Okay, don't fall into a trap there. And this is also 10. Okay, Rewriting the problem, especially for the distance and subtraction, I'm guessing those are going to be a little bit more difficult for you. And then applying the multiplication and division rules. It's as simple as that. Here we have negative 8 minus 6, both on the same team, negative 14. Just like that. Okay, so as long as you stay true to those rules, it should be fairly simple. But if you need more help, I got tons of videos on this type of thing, especially with integers. I have math drills, play, uh, a playlist for math drills worksheets. So if you need help on any of those math-related content, be sure to check out this page or any other page on this channel right here, Wes Explains Best. See you then.